Edo APC Chemo Emperor Jared Tinebe don't call on Nigerian police force say may them investigate and arrest some members of the opposition, the People's Democratic Party PDP, where the Malay say attack APC members along Airport Road, Benin City on Thursday, July 18, 2024, where it lead to the killing of Inspector Anu Aku, one security detail of the All Progressive Congress APC gubernatorial candidate. As Oga Tinebe, they talk for one talk talk session with three people for the APC Secretariat for Benin City, in commission names of some PDP members with them see for the city of the attack, like Chief Francis Inegbeneke, Chief Odion Olaye, Mr. Austin Edo Soma, Chief David Olukoja, among others. He come also accused Edo Governor Godin Obaseki say in they prepare to use these people to intimidate and harm innocent voters on election day. This press statement is predicated that the fact that APC Edo State Chapter is very worried about the underlisted issues. One, that the police are here to arrest those who murdered Inspector Ako Ono on the 18th of July 2024 along Airport Road in Benin City. Even though those who are caught in the footage of the scene are seen parading the streets of Edo State, herefore are the names of those who are alleged to have committed the barbaric act. Number one, the Kingpin, Chief Francis Inegbeneke, Chief Odio Olaye, Mr. Austin Edosonwa, Mr. Kinsley Osagwe, Mr. Mutaru, who is the director of power, Chief David Olukoga, Mr. Agedo, Mr. Osogwevo Iyoa, Mr. Osazi Obazi, Odio Odige, Akere Odige, Mr. Noel Matthew, Mr. Enoje Luke, Mr. Iman Oronto, Mr. Osi Imojiri, Victor Obano, Small Baba, Osaro Clifton, Stevenson Oshodi, Festus Balogban, Bright Agwebo. That our party has it on good authority that the governor is prepared to unleash these persons on innocent voters on the day of election as they are now being warehoused at the government house. Three, that because of the formidable assurances that the governor of Baseki has given to these persons, hence their continuous inflammatory statements that they will burn down Edo State if the candidate of PDP is not declared winner of the Saturday 21st election, 2024. For the avoidance of doubt, Chief Francis Nebuchadnezzar, who is one of those on the wanted list of the police, was seen in the same vehicle with Governor Gordon Obaseki during campaign. Furthermore, Chief Odi Olaye, one of the alleged killer squad of Governor Obaseki, was captured on viral video where he was threatening to burn down a door if Aswe Godalo is not declared the winner of the election, Saturday governorship election. Four, we are also aware via the intelligence gathering that Governor Baseki is working with some army generals aimed at undermining legitimacy of the election. They were seen yesterday. They could be fake army generals. They could be real. We cannot say. But he was seen there with some army generals and he had a meeting with them. Number five, it is also in public space that the Governor Baseki has shown police uniform for people who are not policemen to be used to cause mayhem on the day of the election. Six, as shown on viral video on social media, the Go Governor Baseki has directed members of his killer squad to pour patrol on buildings housing the various collation centers where it is perceived that APC is on the lead. Seven. We also inform reliably that governor who was who was maintained who has maintained the posture of a tyrant had deployed his hoodlum along the waterways of the riverine area of the state. Hence he was at Olobo yesterday to give a taxi a taxi boat to those domicile along the riverine area. Eight, I'm using this medium to call on the police and other security agencies to be vigilant and ensure that these persons are arrested 
before the election because their presence at the election ground is an invitation to a breakdown of law and order, calling ultimately for a reprisal while we trust on the police to discharge their duties within the established law, we are concerned about the continuous undesirable freedom being enjoyed by this hoodlum. Edo State must be free from the stronghold of Gordon Obaseki and his political tyrant. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria, long live Edo State, and long live uh, APC. For response to questions which three people ask, the APC Chemo Emperor Jared Tenebe, Senior Lawyer and APC Chieftain Honorable Samson Osaige, called Chukmat on some concerns about the attack, the opposition party and the governorship election where they come. We also think that uh, uh, it's just a, a, a game to possibly slow the police uh, from uh, uh, hunting for him. We are not very sure yet if Francis Debeneke has been arrested. We believe that Francis Debeneke by now is supposed to be in the net of the police because he's been seen several times with the governor and he's been uh, housed in government house and we are calling on the police to arrest him because we, we have with a good authority that uh, Governor Obaseki want to unleash those people, those criminals, uh, Francis Debeneke and co, on the voters on the day of election. Let me tell you, the life of an innocent police is involved in this whole thing. One, if somebody assault you, if somebody assault you, and you make a report, who is to be arrested? Is it the person that was assaulted or the person who assaulted somebody? So they are the ones that committed a crime because it is clear, after they killed the police at the airport, they have attacked our, our rallies in Akoko Edo, Onwa, Esako West, and Esako Central. They've attacked our rallies, and they have seen it. And they attacked somebody again, one of, in our, one of our rallies in Edo Central. So it is clear that they are the ones that are violent. And again, you remember that this, there was peace accord that was signed. They refused to sign. It then means they are prepared for violence. They are prepared to fight. They are prepared for, for all sorts of uh, 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 violence on the day of the election. That's the reason why we are sending these signals and warning to the security agencies to make sure that they arrest them between now and the election. And we also give information to the police because we know that they want to go and take money here and there for the election. So they should be vigilant. All the areas where PDP are going to share money, they should mount guard there to ensure that these people are, are finally picked up. Well, uh, the point about arresting people and trying them in Abuja, uh, it is not altogether an illegal act because we are talking of a police officer, you know, that was killed, and the people who were involved who perpetrated the offense uh, are on the run. Even those that were allegedly arrested in the past and taken for trials uh, and brought to Benin for purposes of uh, for, uh, taken for investigation and brought to Benin for purposes of trial found themselves back on the streets because the government is tolerant of criminality and crimes in the state and entered a nolle prosecu to free them off the, uh, the, invest I mean, the prosecution of the offense. So in this case, uh, the criminal law and the criminal code or the penal code across the country uh, has some measure of universal application. The crime is against the federal law and it cannot all together be an illegal act to prosecute anyone who has committed acts of murder, acts of arson, uh, and other forms of uh, criminality, even treasonable, treasonable uh, offenses. So there is no illegality. The governor was just crying by saying that, oh, why don't you try them here? Because immediately they are brought to magistrate court here and said to high court, he will send his attorney general to go and enter a knowledge yeah, prosecution to terminate the, the prosecution. Because this government is tolerant of criminality, is tolerant of violence, and that is why the government is housing criminals in government house. And that is exactly because they want to unleash them on the day of election. So there is nothing wrong in what the police have done. And not also forget, the police can secure an order of court to keep a suspect for a longer period for investigation. What is not required is that you unduly delay a suspect for a long time without trying them. But if the investigation is going to take a longer time, the police can secure another of court. And don't forget that these people have since been charged to court, and we hear that bill has been granted to so many of them. 
So there's nothing I miss. Was he a member of the ruling APC government? He was he was PDP, PDP candidate. Yes. Our candidate, Pastor Osage Eze Yamu, who was better after him, lost the election. As an APC candidate, oh, there was no federal matters at that time. The truth of the matter is that as you lay your bed, so you lie on it. Obaseki has incurred the rot of Edo people and has incurred the rot of traditional institutions. And there is no way those things cannot come back to haunt him. So if he cries about federal might, then he should look at his tracks. Edo people are strong, are, are, want, are ready to reject him and his candidate in next out of this election. We have written a petition to the uh, Commissioner of Police where we allege uh, how he unleashed uh, uh, mayhem on some people, injured them, and the pictures are there. So we asked the Commissioner of Police to, to, uh, to arrest him because he does not have immunity. And up to now, he has not been arrested. That's the reason why we are concerned, we are worried, because that is what they want to do on the day of election. And it will not be good because on that day of election, we are not going to fold our hands to see those uh, brother vipers being unleashed on the people. We will not fold our hands to watch. He does not have that power. He does not have that right. So we are watching if he's not going to be arrested that day or if he's not going to be arrested before that day because that's the reason why we call this press conference to, to hammer on the police to arrest all the suspects of which the speaker is also one of them. Our candidate was not even in that convoy. As at the time uh, that accident happened, our candidate was airborne from Benin on a chopper to Onwa, where uh, they were going to do campaign that day. And the, w there were a group of people, young boys, who I wouldn't know how, they ran into some other vehicles and ran into one of our campaign vehicles. And uh, uh, we were even the one that took them to the hospital to treat them. And we came out first to do that. But they not politicized the whole thing. That is what is going on now because I'm sure it was a set up from them and that's the reason because they already politicized it. There's nothing we can do because we sent them to the hospital. We sent those young people to the hospital. So what do you expect the party to do at that point? When the thing happened, it wasn't our fault, it was their fault. It was not even our, our vehicle, they hit, they hit other vehicles before they even got to our So it was multiple... Yeah, it was a multiple yes, it was a multiple thing. And mm -hmm. we took them to the hospital. That accident did not actually consign us. Okay. So we, did, we don't even know what happened. They only ran into our vehicles. So if anybody was going to even protest, it's we that were supposed to protest because they destroyed our vehicle. So, but we took them to the hospital until the governor wanted to politicize the whole thing. So we left it for them to politicize. May they are so rest in peace. Yeah. That's the only thing we can say. See, don't forget, I always say it, that we don't want problem. But if you bring problem, there's no problem. <laughs> Make Kunana forget say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know the take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ojisele, TMC TV News.